Okay, hi Sal. Um, I thought I would just videotape uh, some some information about the stair lift. Uh, this is the eight foot rail. There is another rail upstairs, um, but what you'll do is uh, these four pieces mount into the stairs, okay, and the attachment screws for that are are here. Um, and then these mount to the rail itself. So if you're only going to use this one rail, uh, you, you may only use two of these, although you could probably take one of these off the other one and put it in the middle if you wanted a little bit more strength. Um, the, uh, the chair, the stair lift actually uses uh, this uh, toothed piece of metal. Uh, there's three of them here. Uh, to uh, propel itself up and down the rail. And these have to be, this is the one uh, kind of odd thing about this, they get placed in here and they're held in by actually wedging in this plastic tubing. So you'll put the, the rail, you'll, you'll have to cut them to the right length, place them in the rail, and then uh, you wedge them in with the plastic uh, tubing. All right, now, some of the other hardware that's here. Uh, this, this is all attachment hardware for the, uh, to attach the um, brackets which go to the floor to the rail. If, for some reason, the single piece doesn't work for you and you need to connect two pieces, this plate is the connection plate. You loosen these four bolts, you create a space, this slides onto the rail, uh, between the two, right, um, and uh, and then um, like so, I can't do it because they're not spaced out right now. Uh, and then you put the second one on, place this in the middle, screw them all, and that that's what holds the two together. Um, all right, the uh, now you're going to have to do a couple of minor modifications because this was designed as a two, uh, two rail uh, piece. Here you see um, the mechanical stop. So when the chair, when the stair lift comes down and hits this, there are some sensors in the chair that uh, detect this. Obviously you have this one which is mounted here. This one has to be mounted on the other side at the appropriate spot. And the attachment hardware is here. Um, so that's, those are the mechanical stops. They go at, at either end and you'll have to figure out uh, exactly where to place it. Uh, this pin goes here and just sits in there. I'm not sure what it does, but that's where it came from. Um, uh, so on this particular piece of rail, the hole is, uh, is established. Uh, the, uh, there's one on the other rail, but if you're going to use a single rail, you'll need to drill this hole over there. You'll also need to, uh, I should have mentioned, you'll also need to drill the holes for the mechanical stop in the right place. Okay, and then uh, really the final, uh, the final aspect of this is uh, setting up the electronics, which are really very simple. Um, you've got these two pieces which are uh, charging plates. So they mount here. So on, on this particular one, uh, you can see there's, there's two screw holes and there's a hole where the wire comes out. Now this wire, this end cap goes on the end. Um, this adapter plugs into here like that, okay? And then coming out of, coming out of this, there are two wires. One is a short one, okay, and the short one will go to come, come through here, out the hole, and attach to this. There are two, um, two tabs here where you can actually just attach them so you see how that goes. And then the rest of the wire gets run down to the other side uh, and uh, you know, this, this needs to be placed in, uh, in the right position so that it charges over there. And uh, the, the charger gets left in constantly. The, uh, the chair itself has a battery in it, and uh, that way if the power goes out, you'll still have the ability to use the chair. So that's really 
pretty much, oh, one more thing. Um, there are these, let's see, where are they? These. Uh, there's these, uh, a nut and two bolts that go here. There's, there's, um, these are the nuts and bolts that go on the other end. I think it's some kind of emergency stop to keep the chair from going off the very end. Um, you'll need to put the, you'll need to drill the hole and put this on the uh, on the end of your system, depending on how long it is. So that's that's pretty much everything. Um, good luck with it, and uh, you know the chair is in in uh, perfect working condition. Uh, so, uh, uh, when you um, when you put the chair on, um, there we took this piece off in order to we'll, in order to get the chair off. You'll need to reconnect uh, to get the chair off the rail. You'll need to reconnect uh, this sensor. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it does, but um, that's everything. Okay, thanks a lot.